Hey guys, good evening. This is Alejandro Narbona on behalf of Inglés Corporativo. Thank you very much for being here. Cameras on, full names displayed, and let's take attendance. Alba Noemi Cortez de Gonzalez. Yes, him. Thank you. Ana Maria Chipón de Garcia. Ana Maria? Not present. Carla Ivane Cabrera Serrano. Present. Thank you. Claudia Lizette Canales de Enriquez. Claudia? Not present. Daisy Marcela Rosales Canjura. Not present. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Thank you, sir. Hector Eduardo López Varela. Present. Thanks. José Antonio Cubillas Hernández. Not present. Carla Yanet Amaya Herrera. Present. Thank you. Carla María Quintanilla Vilés. Present. Thank you very much. Catherine Melissa Susana Campos. Present. Thanks. Mariana Carolina Cisneros Reyes. Present. Miguel Ángel Paz Landa Verde. Present. Miren Carolina Mozo Valdés. Miren. Not present. Natalia Carolina González. Present. Thank you. Don Alfonso María Escalante. Present. Thank you, sir. Reina Marisa Valle Álvarez de Chávez. Reina. No, present. Sabrina Mabel Atín Castro. Present. Sandra Elizabeth Osorto Romero. Present. Thank you. William Alexander Ramirez Flores. Present. Thank you, sir. Anybody that I... Ana María. Ana María. Ana María. Ana María. Ana María. Thank you. Jose Antonio Cubillas Hernández. Claudia. Present. Okay, Claudia Elizabeth Canales de Enriquez. Thank you. Present. Daisy. Not here. Miriam. And Rina. Not here yet. All right, guys. So let's get it started. And um, you know how we start. What was yesterday's topic? U W H E um simple past simple past uh -huh. simple past that is correct so simple past yes no questions affirmative and negative statements when do we use simple past uh, simple we past use simple past, past event. to talk about past events. That's right. So we use simple past to talk about past events. Excellent. What is the difference between simple present and simple past as far as the structure? Use auxiliary. Auxiliary. Uh -huh. auxiliary did instead, instead is and this day instead of do. Okay. Now, what happens when we have auxiliary did? What happens to the verb? Do we have it in past or in the base form? Base, base form. That's base right. form. Base so verb in base form when using auxiliary did. Excellent, guys. Um, so we use base form in what? Questions, negative or affirmative? Affirmative. affirmative, right? Okay. Only in affirmative, we use the verb in past. And what happens to question in negative? Base form. Base verb in the base form. form. Correct. Thank you very much. So as far as these guys, I have a couple of questions. <clears throat> um, do you, well, how do you feel with the simple past? ¿Cómo se sienten con el uso del simple past? My day is good. Good, okay. And what do you think is the key? La llave, lo más importante. What do you think is the key for you to be able to use simple past? The bear past? Exactly. You have to memorize the verbs in past. 
Now, I'm not gonna cover this in the lesson because of time, but there are different pronunciations for the verbs in past, okay? Some of them are going to be with, some of them are gonna be with d, and some others with id, okay? So um, um, I would recommend you to, sorry, something happening down here. I would recommend you to gather information about it. And um, if you have any questions, you let me know, okay? Okay. All right, so let's get it started here. Go ahead and read it with me, please. I will be able to. I will be able, I will be able to. Engage in a small talk. Using a variety of topics. Using, using a variety of topics. Now, everything. Engage in a small talk using a variety of topics. I will be able to engage in a small talk using a variety of topics. I will be able I will to be able to variety. 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 Here. Variety. 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 Good. I need a volunteer to read all of these. I will be able to. The complete sentence, please. Engage in the small talk. Go ahead, Mariana. I will be able to engage in a small talk using a variety of topics. Great. I'm going to give you an advice. I know you have your microphone here, but whenever you're talking, make sure you have your mouth clear all right mm -hmm. and this goes for everybody guys you don't have that problem but many students do that you're like i will be able to and they can know so it is <laughs> not sometimes it's not clear and when you do like this it is also difficult to understand so no no por ti exactamente mariana pero todo siempre con la boca libre okay all right guys continue what small talk what small talk what do you think is the meaning of small talk? Small Pequeña talk. charla. Pequeña conversación. Pequeña conversación. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Pequeña charla. And do you consider yourself a good conversationalist? Do you consider, do you consider yourself, yourself a good conversationalist? A good conversationalist. Uh -huh. Do you consider yourself like you have good skills consider them well. for having conversation? ¿Creen que tiene una buena habilidad para andar chambreando? Un buen conversador. No, cambiar no, pero conversar sí. Wow, yeah. Yo creo que al revés. Es bueno aclarar, es bueno aclarar. Yeah, that's right. Why? Why? Uh -huh. uh, ¿Por qué? Because because I'm not very communicative. Ah, uh, ok, that's a good answer, Hector. I'm not very communicative. Uh, what else? How do you say a lantin that you like to talk a lot? I don't know. Talkative. So I am very talkative. I am not very talkative. All right. So repeat after me. I am very talkative. I am very talkative. I am very talkative. I'm not very talkative. I'm not very talkative. Good. So today, guys, we're going to be learning vocabulary, and you will have a lot of conversation, okay? So I'm going to try for the whole class for you to be talking, taking advantage of today's objective, okay? So go ahead and read after me, please. Choose three good topics. For small talk. For small, small talk. talk. And three you consider mm. inappropriate. And, and three you consider, consider inappropriate. inappropriate. 
Choose three good topics for small talk and three you consider inappropriate. I need a volunteer to read all of this, please. This line. Choose three good topics for a small talk and three you consider inappropriate. Okay, very good. So you're going to be telling me, in your opinion, what is appropriate? Say it with me. Appropriate. Appropriate. Inappropriate. Inappropriate. Location. 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 Example. 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 Is your company near the Trade Center? Is your company near the Trade Center? Appropriate or inappropriate? Appropriate. Appropriate. Okay. Appropriate. Good. Company. 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 Job. Company. Job. 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 What are some of your responsibilities at Rex Inc.? What are some oh, of our responsibilities at Rex Inc.? Appropriate or inappropriate? Appropriate. Okay. <laughs> Next one. Politics. 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 With explosion. Pa. Politics. 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 Mm. Politics. All right. Politics. Right now, Politics. please do not repeat. Do not repeat. If you say politics, it's uh, okay. But it is like Spanish, right? Po, 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 po. In English, everything is like a little bit as an explosion. So we're going to say pa. Politics. 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 Uh -huh, exactly. Politics. A little bit of air out of your mouth. Ha. Ha. Politics. 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 These politicians are a disaster. These politicians are a disaster. A disaster. What do you think? What do you think? What do you think? How do you say appropriate? Inappropriate. Okay, so this one is inappropriate. Um, next one, common event. Common event. Common event. Common event. Example. Example. Are you enjoying the seminar? Are you enjoying the seminar? What do you think? Appropriate. Appropriate. Nice. Hey, guys, thank you for your participation. I hear a lot of people um, repeating. You're doing great. And even though you have your microphones on mute, repeat out loud so you can hear yourself. Okay? Siempre repitan. Um, I don't know how to say out loud in, in Spanish. En voz alta. En voz alta. Para que se escuchen, porque de lo contrario todos sonamos súper bien en nuestra mente. Okay. Next one. Okay. Travel. 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 What is the meaning of this? Example. 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 A little bit. A little bit of vibration. Example. 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 Does your job require a lot of travel? A lot of travel. Appropriate or inappropriate? Appropriate. Okay. Next one. Money. 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 Mm -hmm. money. Are you making good money in your job? Are you making, Are you making good, 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 good money, money in your job? job? Uh -huh. Inappropriate. Inappropriate. Mm, what do you think? <laughs> I can buy a car. Because it's private. It, it is indeed. Mm -hmm. It is indeed private. So yeah. especially in our countries, you know, <laughs> be careful who you talk about money. You never know. <laughs> All right. No Next one. Buses. 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 
I work for a tyrant. What about you? I work for a tyrant. What about you? What about you? Inappropriate. 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 Yes, Inappropriate. especially because your boss can access to this class. So don't say anything. <laughs> Next one, likes. 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 Do you enjoy outdoor activities? Do you, Do you enjoy, enjoy outdoor activities? activities? Uh -huh. appropriate. 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 So, um, from all of this, we have some appropriate topics for small talk and some inappropriate topics. So, we're going to be working with this. But before that, is there any new vocabulary? Any new vocabulary? Uh, yes. Yeah. In Inappropriate. 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 Okay. Outdoors. Okay. Outdoors. Which? Yes. What is the meaning? Outdoors. Outdoors. Aire libre. Aire libre. Okay. Al, al aire libre. Al aire libre. Okay. So let's go ahead and um, change a couple of things. All right, let's change this. Is your company near? And here, you're gonna tell me the place. How do you say, está, es tu compañía, está tu compañía cerca de? Un centro. Um, for example, Metro Centro. Mm -hmm. Is your company near? near, near Is your company near Metro, near the, metro Centro? Near metro the center. supermarket? Of Metro Centro. Oh, Metro Centro. Okay. Um, what about this one? What are some of your responsibilities at? Uh -huh. At Cia uh, Consultores. At, at Inglés uh, Inglés Corporativo. <laughs> exactly, and the name at, of the company. At, correct. Okay. Mm -hmm. This policy. Okay, so dejémoslo así. Cambiamos la teacher. Are you enjoying? The, the class. class. The class. Uh -huh. class. class. Uh, the does class, your, uh -huh. Are you does your job it? require a lot of travel? Okay, let's leave it like that. Uh -huh. um, are you Are good? You uh, this is up to you. This one, uh, be very, very careful. And do you enjoy outdoor activities? So um, let me um, take a screenshot, guys, right now, please. Take a screenshot. Done. Screenshot that price. You can choose which one to to um, to answer, and uh, give me a second. Here, I'm gonna have uh, six groups, so we can have three or four participants. Choose the questions you want to. You want to answer. All right, go for it, guys. I'm going to give you a long time for this. Go for it. Teacher, perdí el sonido un ratito. Solo confirmando eh, las que las tres oraciones tenemos que poner ejemplos con algo real de nuestra vida. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. And you, yeah. you choose, you choose. Ajá, cambiarlas, ok. Uh -huh, correct. Y elegir tres. ¿Cómo se dice? All right, guys. Um, check the... Oh, they haven't sent it to the chat yet. Give me a second, no mandado. 
להפרעות. Vamos a trabajar en base al ejemplo que acabamos de, de escuchar, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. I'm going to send it because I don't have to send it. And you're going to be changing the information. Teacher, puede compartir la pantalla. Come on, it. there it is. No me, no me ha agregado al chat todavía. All right, so go ahead and work with the with the screenshot I just sent, please. Trabaja con los screenshot que me envié. Vamos a hacer preguntas inapropiadas y no. No, you can, you can, you can actually work with the ones I sent. So the idea, guys, is for you to use the same questions, ocupan las mismas preguntas y solo cambien en los pedacitos que yo les estaba cambiando. Mm, okay. Ah, ok. Solamente sí le voy a agradecer que tal vez nos puede compartir la, la, I, la I página. I can't. No puedo porque voy a estar cambiándome de, de, de grupo. Lo que puede hacer Naftali okay. es que sus compañeros la compartan o ocupe el manual. Ah, perfecto. ¿En no. cuál está? Ok, ok. Ahorita lo busco en el manual. It is page okay. 25. 25. Okay. Thank perfecto. you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Seminar. You can change it. Are you enjoying the class? Are you enjoying the gym? Enjoying the gym. Gym. Uh huh. The gym. Okay. Enjoying the gym. Okay. Mm -hmm. Travel. That's your job. That's your job. Love. Yeah. A lot of Otro que le ponemos. That's true. Ah, podríamos ponerle. Ahí se puede, teacher. That's your job. ¿Cómo se dice? Recuerdo. Recuerdo. Require. That's your require. job. Require, require a, a card, for example. Yes. Sí, uh -huh. Car. Algunos, algunos trabajos te exigen carro, entonces puede ser. Sí, That's your job. Okay. Require a card. A car. A car. Uh -huh. a car. It's a money. Are you making money in the car? Okay. In the money, la cambiamos. Okay, making. Are you making good money in your job? Mm -hmm. And then you start talking about it. Yeah. And numero. Are you in the polite? No, 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 some. Are you enjoying the class? Are you enjoying the class? Enjoying the class. Yeah. Are you? Are you enjoying? Enjoying the class. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The class. And the other one. 
Does your job require a lot of travel? Answer, yes, it does. What? Yes. Yes, it does. Yes, yes, no, it yes, it does. Mm -hmm. does. Or no, it doesn't. Yes, uh -huh. yes he does. Okay, I... Does. And... Uh-huh. Oi... Your... With you... I know it's travel. And then, okay. are you making good money in your job? No. No. <laughs> All right, try to, try to give more information, guys. Okay. And help each other. Ayúdense entre ustedes. Asegúrense que Eko okay. conteste bien, que René conteste bien, que Claudia conteste bien. Sí. Ajá, great, sí, porque great. estoy ahí atrasado. Keep it up. ¿Qué? Okay. Vaya, vos te voy a preguntar. Es que esa, esa es en Santa Tecla está, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Te puedo preguntar ahí, bebo, si querés que te diga que está cerca del platillo. O cerca de... No sé. Fíjate que yo la puse cerca de, de la PAC. ¿Cómo? Cerca de APEC, te puse yo. No, pero es que yo te lo voy a preguntar, vos me decís que no, porque no está cerca. Ah, va. Uh -huh. Ah, no, por eso te digo yo, o sea, yo lo puse así, de esa forma. Pero igual, sí, está, está bien así. Your company near... So what you can do, as, as we were doing, is just change some words. Cambien un par de palabras nada más. Sí, sí. Now, you can start like one by one, guys. Sí. So, for example, is your company near, I don't know, El Centro, downtown? Oh, eh, yes, it is. No, it isn't. Uh -huh. No, it isn't. Mm -hmm. Then you go to the next. What are some of your responsibilities at your job? Okay. Mm -hmm. But I think I have one, but let's see. But... Uh, William. Mm -hmm. uh, quiero ver. What are some of your responsibilities at SPSM? Um, I uh, type documents. <clears throat> I have meetings. And I, uh, I check the cash flow. OK. Nice. Uh, Catering. Is your company oh, required? Mm -hmm. Y nosotros, es que tengo, no sé si me he confundido. Vale, la pregunta dice: Does your job require a lot of travel? Mm -hmm. it, my, my personal. Um, mm -hmm. yo, my, my, ¿Qué se dice? My. my Answer, mi respuesta. No sé. Answer, no. answer. My answer. Yes, my answer mm -hmm. is, yes, I do, because my job is present in Central America. Or, or in Central America. ¿Está correcto así, teacher? Um, my, my job has branches. Ah, ahí está la palabra que usamos estos días. Correcto. My job has branches at Central America. 
in Central America. In Central America, in. Ajá. Hmm. Okay. Y si es negativa, es, sería no it doesn't, teacher. No, I don't. Mm. It doesn't. Sí, porque empieza con dos. Exacto. Es que, pero es que, no, pero, pues sí, pero es que ese, ahí estoy confundida, Ana María, porque es que no está hablando de nosotros, está hablando del, del, del trabajo. Es que eso es lo que no, no, no entiendo. No ah, por la respuesta que, que, uh -huh. Uh -huh. Pero sí, ¿verdad, teacher? Es como que a uno le están preguntando, ¿verdad? Porque tienes you. Eh, Ask the question trabajo. again. Does tu, tu your job require a lot of travel? Yo lo traduzco como tu trabajo requiere eh, viajar mucho. Ajá. Pero es de tu trabajo. Exactly. So your job, what is it? He, she, or it? It. So how do you say yes for it in third person? Yes, yes, it does. Correct. Great. Y, y negative, it, no, it doesn't. Exactly. Ah, but, es que ese era mi punto, Ana María, que no, no iba a contestar, no, I don't, porque no era de mí. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. uh -huh. Era de... de oh. Era de, del trabajo. Y entonces uh -huh. en la respuesta afirmativa sería, yes, it, yes, it does. Uh -huh. Y ahí agrego Como... la parte larga. Mm -hmm. Exacto. Exacto. All right. Keep it up. Any questions? No questions. Go. Y luego, bueno, en mi caso yo puse yes because I do what I like. Yes. Y luego la otra es como, does your job require a lot? Yo respondí yes, I love my work. Bye. Bye. La otra, la cuatro, me dijeron que era, según la, la captura que tomé, eh, does your job requiere a lot of travel? Travel. Travel. ¿A esa sí la dejamos? Sí. Okay. Porque es como bien general la pregunta, que es como si tu trabajo requiere como de viajar mucho. Ajá. Uh -huh. Ajá, pero es que yo el das, perdón. Ajá, eso es lo que, teacher, no sé cómo contestar esa. <laughs> Me perdí. Try again. Ask the question again. Does your job require a lot of travel? Y es que no sé, porque como lleva el das, es como... No sé si es como, no, I don't. No, I don't, oh, ajá, eso, eso mismo. Um, what is the subject? Your job. Ajá. No, it doesn't. Exactly. Ah, ok. Ah, pues no estaba tan perdido. Bien, Mariana. No, it doesn't, entonces. It. It, it doesn't. Mm -hmm. ah, it doesn't. Mm -hmm. Teacher, una pregunta. Y las que son inappropriate. Las tenemos que contestar también. No, no, necesariamente. Ah, ok. Entonces vamos con la última. Do you enjoy outdoor activities? No, I need more speaking though. Necesito que hablen más, que traten de hacerlo como conversación. José Antonio, métase más. Ah, entonces era una conversación. Es que yo como entré tarde porque estaba en reunión del trabajo. Entonces no, no sabía qué íbamos a hacer. No, uh -huh. nada más las la, la hemos copiado y la, 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 la. Yeah, las hemos cambiado y nos estamos como preguntando. Ajá, pero make it, you know, more fluent, oh, like conversation style. Okay. 
Entonces tendría, Mariana, hi, what are, are some of your responsibilities at work? Le pusimos ahí. Ah, ya me acordé. Ajá. ¿Cuál pregunta era? Perdón, perdón. Otra vez. Ah, what are some of your responsibilities at work? My responsibilities at work are um, supervise and supervise the design and send reports. Ah, and you, Antonio? Hi, my responsibilities at work are prepare documents, mail, payrolls. At ING, are preparing documents. Ah, uh, preparing. Preparing documents. Documents, uh -huh. In May, payrolls. In May? Payrolls. Planilla. Payroll. Payroll. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. And Daisy, uh, are you enjoying your work? There you go. Keep it up. Continue. Perfecto. Hay que salga de volunteer, volunteer. How are you doing? Hello, teacher. Um, ¿Cómo se dice? Estoy confundida. I... I'm confused. I'm confused. I'm confused. <laughs> I have a question, teacher. Tell me. La pregunta, ¿solo tenemos que cambiar el contexto o tenemos que responderla? Both. Cambien el contexto y contesten. Ah, ok. Vaya, entonces, un ejemplo pudiera ser ese, el que les di. Entonces, creo que no ando tan perdida. Tal vez solo medio perdí. Eh, sí está pues, bien. Sí está bien, Natalie. Solo que no le has cambiado el contexto a la pregunta. Y está respondiendo justamente como está escrita. Ajá, yo estoy respondiendo cabal a la pregunta, solo que con otras, ¿qué? Con otra respuesta, por decirlo así. Sí, o sea, la respuesta está bien, pero el contexto de la pregunta hay que cambiar. Uh -huh. Ok. Exacto. Ok. Uh -huh. Bueno, sigamos. Um, eh, is it correct? Um, está correcto, no sé. Is your... Is your company near near of uh, your Capilla San Benito? Yes. Yes. Yes, ma'am. It's great. Fantastic. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Mm -hmm. Keep it up. So, ask the question. Uh, ask the question and answer the question too. Hmm. So, no solo la creen, sino que también contesten. Pero solo tenemos que responder si es apropiado o inapropiada o... Todas. Pero esa es la respuesta, o tenemos que darle una respuesta así como... Yes, I did, o... In, the, in that case, it's going to be yes, it is. Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. Yes, it is. No, it isn't. Ah, ya yeah, comprendí. Okay. Yes. Yeah. All right. You know what? Let, let me go back to the main room. I want to check something. Okay. 